Today's episode of Morning Coffee with Cameron is brought to you in part by Hook Theory. Hook Theory has a bunch of amazing free resources to learn about different keys and modes, analyze popular songs, do some ear training, and a whole lot more. They've also got a couple very affordable books, which are some of my favorite books on the subject of music theory ever. If you want to check it out for yourself, you can use the link down in the description to help support the channel in the process so I can make more videos like this one. Howdy doody buckaroonies, and welcome back to another episode of The Salt King Rises. The other night I was answering some fan mail stuff, and I found myself once again answering a question I seem to get a lot. Someone was asking for some advice as to which plugin they should buy. They couldn't choose, but they knew that by buying one of these plugins they were finally going to be able to start making music. And that really makes me mad. The music industry is a business, and all too often these companies fall to the same predatory marketing tactic of selling the dream, whether it's some discount polo wearing associate's degree f stain trying to sell you a half-baked drum sampler, or someone who couldn't sell their $20,000 anti-jerking off lessons and decided to reheat and repackage a pretty mediocre saturation plugin, or any number of professional companies who will jump at the chance to tell you that what separates you from the pros is just three easy payments away. There's a saying in the world of photography that the best camera is simply the one that you have on you. And I think this is very much true of music as well because the plugins don't make the music, you do. With that in mind, today I wanted to share with you a few of my favorite free piano libraries that you can try and make something with this week. Maybe we'll even work on a little bit of a ditty ourselves here today because as the wise philosopher Hilary Duff once said, why not? Okay, enough babbling, let's hear some pianos. All of the pianos in this video are 1001% free, including the plugins that they run in, so of course, as always, all this stuff is gonna be linked down in the description below if you wanna grab any of it for yourself. First up, we have Claustrophobic Piano from Piano Book. This runs inside of the free Decent Sampler, and what I really like about this one, if I just give this a quick play, it is a very full, dark and warm sound to it that I really like, but it's still pretty intimate sounding. Probably hence the name claustrophobic piano, but one of the things I really like about it as well is that not only does it work for solo pieces and whatnot, but it can add almost a pad-like layer to a mix. If I play just some kind of chunky basic pop chords here, you'll probably hear what I mean. It just has this nice, full, warm mid and low end that can really round out a mix that might feel a bit sterile and lifeless otherwise. Next up, we have Spindle from Orchestral Tools. This is a felt piano, I know, it's another felt piano, but this one is a little bit different because it has a nice presence and pop to it that does cut through a mix, which is really hard to find with felt pianos. Often they're just buried under everything and it's really hard to make them stand out, but this one has a really great... upfront and very punchy type of sound. I like it a lot. And it could even work in like a pop production, which is a really rare thing with a felt piano to be that kind of upfront and in your face. So that's kind of cool. It doesn't have very deep low end to it like some other libraries. But that's a pretty easy thing to fix with some EQ. Next up, we have Glass Piano from Spitfire Labs. This is a relatively new addition to Labs, but I really like the sound of this one. And what's kind of cool about it is it does come in a few different flavors, including some more kind of abstract pad and 
processed sort of things as well as just a standard grand and a grand soft. It's a very stable piano sound and it comes across as a very well-tuned and well-maintained instrument, but one of the neat things about it, if we play some of the more upper register stuff here, is there's just this hint of room tone and little shuffling noises and other details that make this really lifelike, and I really enjoy that a lot about this one. This is another sort of rare soft piano that still cuts through a mix really well, so let's take it out for a test drive. Really nice full piano sound. I like that one a lot. Next, we have the Autumn Piano, also from Piano Book and also for the free Decent Sampler. This one is a lot of fun because it has two unique sort of flavors. We have just the Autumn Piano here. Which feels like a, I guess what I would call a hero piano. It's one that's really meant to kind of take center stage. It's delicate, but warm, and it just sounds... a lot like Autumn. To me, Autumn Piano isn't like a solo piano, but it comes across more as an accompaniment thing. I find myself feeling like the sound of it is best when augmented with some added effects, or maybe accompanied by some synths or a cello or something, but it's a really, really solid piano sound on its own. But one of the cool things about it is if we go into the libraries here, there is the Autumn Piano Multi-Instrument, which is a sampled piano with some affected layers of stuff. Which is a pretty cool sound. I think this one is really worth checking out because this affected version here, just gorgeous sounding. Next, we have the Winter Felt Piano Prototype from Piano Book and again for Decent Sampler. This is a lot like the Claustrophobic Piano, but has a different sort of flavor to it. And I think that's what's important with piano libraries and stuff is having little nuances between them so that you have different tools to do the job right. The Winter Felt Piano is another felt piano. It's very intimate, you get the idea, but I like this one because it reminds me sort of of that Autumn Piano or of the Claustrophobic Piano because it does just sound a bit more immediate than other felt pianos. And I really like that, especially for such a compact sample library. What I really like about this one in particular though, is using it for very slow pieces because it has an interesting sound to the sustains that I can't quite put my fingers on. I don't know what it is that draws me to it, but it just sounds really, really cool. It's great for just those slow, shifting, drifting pieces like a chunk of ice lost at sea or something. Just a very powerful sound. With that, let's have some fun and make us a quick tune, shall we? I've got the claustrophobic piano up here and I've got just sort of my go-to processing chains to make pianos sound more gooder. -er. 
First, I'm running that through just my kind of general piano channel strip idea here. This is just some analog console saturation, a little bit of a low pass that's extremely gentle just to shave off some stuff, a bit of optical compression, which is very spongy, gluey, and warm, and just a hint of EQ to boost up some top, add a little bit more bite with some mids, duck out some mud, and add just a little bit of emphasis to the lows because claustrophobic piano just needs a little bit of help with that. With a send, I've routed that into Ultraverb, and we have our final piano sound to work with that's just this huge, epic, ambient thing. We could maybe dial that back a little bit here for the sake of writing down the idea, but we're just going to start destroying this and making something interesting with a free piano. Right, three, two, one, go. Okay, bit of a false start. Uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do there for a sec. Uh, three, two, one, go. A little bit morose, but I'll take it. So I think we'll just take this and dupe it out a couple times. I'm just gonna start goofing with it here and not really in any particular fashion. I think we're just gonna find some interesting looking waveforms and mess with pulling the audio apart in interesting ways because that's when cool stuff starts to happen, I find. Okay, so with that same recording messed around with a bit here, what have we got? Grainy, spooky, like it. Ha, <laughs> that was kind of cool. It was almost like a little delayed effect. Eh, skipping ahead. Cool, I like the direction. Let's start messing with these a little bit. Warp modes make all the difference. Kind of like that one with the stretch. Let's pitch that one up an octave. Ooh, that's weird. Maybe not. A little too weird. Let's use that as like the base layer. All right, put it all together and mix it in a pot, and we have. Okay, I like that. I like that. Let's just absolutely wreck one of these here and make that into just a super shimmery upper layer and we'll start goofing with some effects. So in a couple minutes here, by taking that same improv, stretching it out, messing with it, and goofing around with some effects and stuff and a little bit of mixy things, I've now turned that same idea into this. Which I think is a good start to sort of an underlay to something. I grabbed the free 
Lab's Frozen Strings cello here, and I think throwing this on top would really start to pull this idea together. I really like the textures and kind of little bits and bobs that are starting to emerge from that. So maybe that'll be the rest of my afternoon here is sitting down and goofing with this. That's a pretty interesting idea for about maybe 20 minutes worth of work. And I think I could definitely expand on that and start turning that into something. And I would encourage you to maybe go out and do a little bit of the same this week. That wraps everything up for this video. As mentioned, all the plugins and stuff are gonna be linked down in the description below. Go out, try these for yourself, and see what you can make. Of course, if you make something cool, feel free to share it with me on social media or the Discord, because I always love to hear what you're out there doing and what you're working on. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, and as always, I hope this inspires you to get out there and make something awesome.